Hey everyone, this is Rohan from 3D Infotech and today we're going to go over constructing features from existing features using this IM block as an example. Now constructing features are useful for finding measurements that cannot be directly extracted on the part, such as this whole pattern here or the circle that's made from the intersection of this plane and the cone. I'm going to focus on the whole pattern first. I've gone ahead and previously created circle features that I want to use to construct my whole pattern and I've extracted the components. I'm gonna highlight the five circles that I want and I'm gonna go into create a circle feature. And in this case, for the method, I'm gonna find the dropdown and find from objects. Now Polyworks then asks for a sub method and if I find the dropdown again, I have a variety of options available to me. But in this case, the circle I wanna create is going to be generated from the center points of these five other circles. I'm going to go ahead and create select center points and hit create. And you can see as soon as I do that, that a circle six has now been generated and the measurements have also been extracted. Now, the reason for that is because if you look in the tree view next to circle six, there's a, a chain icon, which means that the, this circle six is linked to the five parent features that were used in this case, five parent circles that were used to construct this whole pattern circle. Because I had extracted the parent features, the child feature has also been extracted. Now I want to use a different type of extraction of construction method, which will be the circle that's constructed from the intersection of this cone and this plane. I'm going to go ahead and highlight the cone and the plane that I just created. And in this case, I'm gonna go into create a circle again. However, in the method, instead of from objects, I'm gonna choose from intersection. And I can see that Polyworks has filled in the sub method for planes and cones. I should bring your attention to the fact that Polyworks will intelligently try and identify what your sub method is based on pre-selected objects in the tree view. So now I'm going to hit circle, create circle seven, and I can see that the circle I wanted has been created. However, the features I want or the measurements have not been extracted. Reason for that is because when I created the parent features, I did not extract those measurements. So if I go in and extract the measurements now, I can see that also the child feature gets extracted as well. That's a quick lesson on constructing features and thank you guys for watching.